Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wild at heart. I know it's been just a moment since we have been in this absolutely beautiful world with all of the little spiritlings who we have here in this deep and mysterious forest, but I am so in love with this place and very happy now that I have returned from my camping trip with my beloved husband, visiting the depths of the Appalachian Mountains, to return to this gorgeous adventure. I mean, just look at these little houses. They're covered in moss and they have beautiful cascading flowers. And I mean, look, our life is currently summed up by being able to gather bits and bobs that have been forgotten by the rest of the world and transform them into all sorts of cool inventions that we're actually able to create. So now I just need to remember how to go ahead and do all this. Let's see, quick prep. Oh, hey guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do quick prep more often. You get your little crew like all ready to go. That's adorable. We can deliver things, we can separate them. Let's see, I can talk to everybody. Oh, I just yeeted one. All right, come back here, little Spriteling. All right, that's how we yeet everybody. All right, team, I think we're ready to go. And just to refresh all of your guys' memories as well as my own, let's go ahead and we're gonna talk to Greycoat. What can I do for you? Make your way outside of the grove to the green witch cataflock. Oh my gosh. It just seems like he's saying catalog, but he like sneezes halfway through. So I need to find out if that's a real word. Because if it is, then we have just obtained a wonderful vocabulary word for the day, my friends. All right. So we need to go ahead. Let's look at our little map. We need to make our way. Oh, wow. That looks so beautiful. So we need to get over there. Okay. So let's see if we can meet Greycoat there. It's still hard to believe that we found our this amazing and beautiful place. Mostly because if you guys remember the rule of the deep woods, the people and things that find their way here into the deep woods have been forgotten by the rest of the world. And that doesn't bode very well for how everybody may have forgotten us. <laughs> That's... That's a little bit, a little bit heady to think about, but I'm sure it'll be okay. All right, how do I... Okay, we need to... That's right. All right, little Spritelings, let's see if we can actually free some of your siblings from this. How about that? Wow, they work really well as a group together. All right, we'll gather these pieces up. All right, we've got this team. Oh, that's right, there's this rock in the way. Huh. So... Maybe if I come up here. That's right, this is blockaded. So we just need to get past this gate. Let's look for wherever the switch might be. Oh, this is such a beautiful place. All right, meanwhile, you guys open that up, would you? I think it gathers up like that spirit. Oh, there it is. One of the little seeds. There we go. And then what does this one do again? I'm sure we're about to find out. There, all of that like spirit essence that we need. Oh jeez! Fight him, little guys! Alright, and we're gonna help kick. I hope Okay, all of our spritelings are okay. Oh thank goodness. Just getting used to this again. That's right, and we can actually have them go ahead and pick these things up for us. Alright, guys. Well, we found a whole bunch of old trash. That's good. And it looks like these thorns would get in the way of what these little guys could do. Hey, did- hey, somebody picked up something cool. Huh. I might have him deliver it to the stash. Alright, let's see. Big old pile of junk over here we could probably clear out of the way. Oh, jeez. The sunken grotto in Crystal Fall Coast. And frost fields. The grove in the heartlands. I wonder if where we're headed is to the place called the Heartlands. Oh wow, and actually, speaking of the Heartlands, we've actually taken a little bit of damage. Huh. Let's see. We- oh, we do have our meals again! The simple meal, tasty blend of locally sourced deep woods grub. I don't think we need that just yet, but if we have the smelly tonic, then we can release a powerful stench at the splash site attracting nearby creatures, a concoction of beastie guts and some food. So that might actually allow us to go ahead and chase off whatever, you know, that creature is up there, but we'll have to see. 
Let's see. Anything? Nothing over here that we can really do. Over there is a lovely chest, but I think it's hidden. Can I get these? Oh! Wow, okay, so they can't figure out what to do with the big chest, but that bodes well. <gasps> There's two of them! I don't think I can fight these guys. Can I just run past them? Well, that kind of worked. What's this thing? Can we do anything with this? It moved a little bit. I wonder if we can maybe water this in the future. We'll have to check that out. And there's a bunch of honey we could collect. Oh, come on, little guys. Oh, geez. Wake, you are in danger. Night is falling soon. You must get to somewhere safe and quick. The dark is bad. Uh-oh. Make haste for the nearest camp or return to the grove. We green shields find it best to just sleep till morning when it's safe again. If you find yourself out in the dark, I would advise you seek out pockets of lights. The never gazers can't stand it. Oh, that's right. We actually are in a lot of danger around here, and I should have gathered up all of those bees first. All right, come on, little guys. I think we're getting a little bit cornered. Ouch. Come on, come on. With me, with me, team. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Well, we abandoned a whole bunch of our stuff, and I didn't mean to. Does turning these give us any good results? A bunch of scraps that we can actually work with. <laughs> I shouldn't get stuck on the very first thing that we were asked to do, but... Ah, oh, and I can't climb that just yet. And night is falling. Alright, let's get back to camp. Look at that! They've laid down a string of lights. Almost like a line of salt to keep the darkness at bay. Historically, a lot of different groups would use salt to try to protect themselves. I wonder why. I've never really stopped to wonder about it. Oh, and we didn't find any of the missing kittens for the woman named Litterbox. All right, where's my little team? Do I need to get them back out of the little spirit well? Uh, let's withdraw the spiritlings and there we go. There we go. Good morning, guys. All right, you guys ready to try again? Maybe I can craft something pretty cool. Let's see. Loose parts. I know... Let's see, what recipes do I know? The simple meal, I know. And then makeshift flare. A simple ramshackle contraption with a variety of uses. Drop them to breadcrumb a trail or get a little break from the darkness. To the creative explorer, the possibilities are endless. Huh. Well, we might put that together. But today, I think I need to be a little bit braver. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to be able to get over here. Maybe if I stand in the corner just right. Oh, it's starting to turn. Come on. Ugh, that's clearly not the way to do it. Can I toss them over? Nope. All right, wait, we'll figure this out. It is kind of like being part of the wild forest. It's not really offering up. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> well, you know what? We're creative solutions won't work. We can just try a little percussive maintenance as my beloved calls it. And here we are. Nice. Let's go ahead and see what exactly this place is. Cause, and we'll lower this. There we go, so we can get to the other side easier. And where? The Green Witch Catafalque. Falk. The Green Witch Catafalque. Wow. Oh, cool. I can just hop down from over here. What's that? Can I send a little guy to go get it for me? Uh oh. I may have just lost one of my little spiritlings. Um, hmm, well, we'll figure out what to do from that point. Let's see. Here lies the green witch of these Willowville deep woods. Stick figures. 
Talent matched only by kindness, she loved fiercely and stood stone vigil in her duties. She never took a life, but surely saved one. She is survived by two, wherever their souls may be. Rest in peace. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. You're here. Thank you for coming. This is an important place to us. Probably. This is the Catafalque of the Green Witch. Well, I do want to know what's a Catafalque, but what's the Green Witch? A woman, gracious and kind, powerful beyond measure. She was a green shield as well, at first. She went by the name Stick Figures. The stickmen you see adorning those branches were her work. They are small wards against evil. The green witch, she saved me. I can't recall how, but my heart remembers that it was so. Oh, that's really poetic. She gave me a family again. Ah. That hit a little too close to home. And probably way close to home for Wake, who doesn't seem to have what we would truly consider in our hearts to be a family. Except for his missing friend Kirby. She was like a mother to me. To many of us. Ugh. Excuse me. It's been some time since I visited her. I wasn't expecting. <laughs> With her as the leader of this Greenshield chapter, she kept us organized, kept the wee Spritling safe, and made sure that the Never stayed locked away. You may have noticed that the others and I have a bit of magical potency. A little? <laughs> well, we're nothing compared to her. She could do incredible things. Things that are hard to put the words to. Probably. Not least of her abilities was that she was the only one who could open the door to the deep woods. And that's why you're here, awake. Huh? She passed some time ago. Not in the matter that you or I will eventually succumb, however. No, she's too powerful for such a simple fate. She is the deep woods now. She's all around us. It's not by accident that you didn't find the woods you were used to when you stepped beyond your back door. Stick figures opened the way for you. How did you know? She needs you. Why me? Well, I don't have the answer to that just yet. But it must be for some reason. Probably. She doesn't make mistakes. She chose you. And that's why I'm giving you this. book. The ensorcelled missive of the Hermaic Order of the Verdant Shield. Or just book, as commonly referred to by the Green Shields. It is an old and often confusing tome that documents the various inhabitants and creatures of the Deep Woods. It appears this copy is also missing pages and contains a collection of cryptic notes from its original owner, Big Pockets. Huh. So now we can go ahead and access the book. It's a book? It says the ensorcelled missive of the Hermaic Order of the Verdant Shield. But then someone just stuck a piece of tape over it with the word book written on it. Hi! It's book! It's quite potently... Uh, it's quite potently... It is quite potently magical in nature. It learns! Oh, wow! It will help you with all the things within the deep woods. Probably. This is great and all, but shouldn't you have it? Or one of the other green shields? Hmm. <laughs> Grey coat? We... Uh, what was that? We forgot how to read, okay? That's why it's called a book. We can't even rem remember what it was originally called. Oh, whoa! Wow, how long have they been here? The saucepan misfit of the hormonal... Never mind, okay? Okay, jeez, relax. Wake, I want to task you with something. Will you hear what I have to ask of you? I mean, yes. Or... I mean, I think we'd say I don't know. This is all getting a little over his head. I see. I suppose it is a bit much to ask. But she said... 
Never mind. I've done what she requested, and I suppose I can't force you to do anything more. Wait, hang on. Maybe I spoke too soon. It's just, I'm not even supposed to be here. I understand how you feel, Wake, but this is a serious matter. Consider that, perhaps, you are right where you need to be. Our order, these deep woods, we are failing. Her hold on the never, it weakens. The strengthening of the never saps our magic, our minds. We can't even remember our own names. Oh, wow. So they're aware of that, and so I guess they didn't pick these names in humor. They just don't remember their own names. If she loses control completely, the barrier will disappear. The never will be unleashed upon your world. What I task you with is this. Help restore our order. In these woods are other green shields that have gone astray. Off on missions that I fear have failed. Rally our wayward green shields and bring them back. Paper Plains is off in Whip's wagon, searching for an old ally. The way around will be south, back through the heartlands. Toothpicks ventured off far to the west, her destination the stormy regions of the Crystal Fall coast. Wild ravines and watering grottos lie between here and there. Tread lightly. Lastly, the twins. They traveled north to the snowy highlands of the frost fields. I have taken the initiative of marking on your map these locations. I hope you don't mind. These green shields will help renew our grip on the confines that kept the never contained. Wake, will you undertake this task? I mean, yeah, but Kirby, our friend, she's supposed to be maybe here, or maybe, maybe the Deepwoods didn't call her? I would love to help, really. Uh, or, I would love to help, really. But what about my friend? I was supposed to meet her. I don't blame you for being, uh, stubborn. Though I dare say we can't do it without you. And I'm sure your friend will be fine. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll help. But Kirby's gonna kill me. Then it's decided and done. Brussel? Hmm? Brussel? Is that you? Russell! I see. Well, that's interesting indeed. Just one moment. Wake, before you go, Russell has observed something of significance between you and the spiritlings. There was a unique connection there, one not seen for some time. Russell! Indeed, he thinks you may be able to bring out the best in them. Yay! For example, do you see that plant bulb there? Twiglings once knew how to speak with such flora, to encourage growth. Try tossing them at it. See if you can't remind these old souls of forgotten traits. Dare I say, the deep woods is truly waking up. Okay, enough talking. Probably. Use the tools we have given you. Go forth now as the newest green shield of this Willow Vale chapter. Officially, kind of. Bring the missing green shields back into the order. With their help, we will renew our grip on the never. Whoa! Okay, you guys. So the green witch herself, she's not dead. She just has become the forest, and she is trying to hold the never at bay. This is amazing. But all right, so I'm gonna give Wake a chance to kind of think through all of that information and figure out what he wants to do next, both to save his friend Kirby and apparently to save the world. And when we come back, we will investigate what else our little spiritlings will be able, or spritelings, pardon me, will be able to go ahead and do. And we'll begin a big journey trying to bring back the other green shields from around the world. So, all right. This is gonna be it. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for joining me on this amazing adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the Green Witch herself. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye-bye.